Moshi Moshi Miami Gamers and welcome back to Genshi Impact. Before the video starts, letting you guys know where I was trying all the teleport spots. I've been trying to get to all of them, but it turns out I bumped into this story quest. So here's a clip of me recording this last night for a few days ago. And I forgot to mention that this was at night too. So that means you won't be hearing my voices at all, only a gameplay audio with no commentary. Sorry peeps. <laughs> Adventurous side says we have to see where this leads. You watch it good. Let's continue. When stirred by strong winds and water soaring through the heavens, since ancient times, servers generation of the flower of the clan, Elith has to watch over the tribe. Protocol in disguise with their occult opinions. Yet breathe the wooden scenes of glorious victory, shadows of loss, and flare looms. Some stories are born with wings, just as some people come into the world and with an in talent. Others, however, can do not else but spend their lives gazing up from the ground. All time, such oppression builds until eventually it piles up to towering a burden, but will this ever be enough to take them up to the distance of beautiful firmaments? Today, we're doing Tallow Clan Flower Feather Clan Quest. We entered all with this damn bird we saw. Oh, yeah. Hello there. Um oh, yeah, I forgot. I even got to mention the fact that also. The fact that I didn't record the next part as we're walking through this area, well, at the this dialogue. The big owl thing, okay. damn. Okay. Probably doesn't understand what we're saying. Doesn't look like any cogs are turning in there. Whoops! Sorry. No offense intended. You there? You dare disrespect our elder? Ooh. Oh, uh, you mean? Oh, I see, I see. Sorry, my mistake. Uh, apparently you are here by invitation. In which case, it's my job to make you feel welcome. So introductions are, are in order. I am Koholam, one of the priests of our tribe. And this is our Iktomisor elder. Why is the great like Tlapokpoktitztetl, a living totem among the masters of the Nightwind. Whoa, that's quite a tongue twister. In truth, we usually go with Elder Tlapo for short. You're welcome to do the same. We will invite here in a very unusual way. Ah, I assume you're referring to our Elder's special ability. Elder Tlapo has been alive for many centuries and harbors secrets that even we priests are at a loss to explain. So your reaction is entirely natural. But one thing I can say for sure is that Elder Tlapo has appointed the two of you to an extremely important right. task. For this I reason, for I tomorrow. would like to ask you to undergo a test. What sort of task? And what kind of test? If it's alright with you, I'll take you to see our chief. He's in a much better position to answer your questions. Is um, that a woman though? Okay, sure. Very well. Then please follow me. I'm um, sure, dude. You can use this scroll to go directly to the obsidian altar, where the chief is. Don't worry, 
It's just one of the many mystical abilities of our tribe. Alright, if you say so. I'm gonna walk so elegantly as Chaska. Very attractive. And I can't stand inside of that ass. Only once. I was kidding, okay? Now we touch this. Hey, do the portal. Okay, hello. What the fuck are we? Wow. The spilling oh, out. The spilling out. Is that, is that yeah. harmful? One of the routine duties of a priest. We attempt to contact the spirits of our ancestors to seek epiphanies and revelations. The chief is just over there. Please wait here while I have a word with him. I'll just be a moment. Well, the masters of the Nightwind are definitely living up to their reputation as the mysterious ones. Mm hmm. I've told the chief why we're here, and now you may speak with him. Right this way. Alright, if you say so, dude. So, you two are the appointed ones. <laughs> I am Chief Birab. Welcome, and uh, thank you for your patience. Damn, every chief looks very different and very impressive. So tall. <laughs> Unusually so. Uh, yes, I am aware. But I assure you, it's no cause for alarm. Oh, no, of course not. Sorry, Paimon just reacted without thinking. Was this about us being appointed? Ah, yes. Uh, Kaholam told me about that. As outsiders to our tribe, this is probably the first you've heard of such appointments. <laughs> I'm sure the whole thing seems very confusing. Throughout our history, only members of the Masters of the Nightwind have been appointed to undertake these tasks. This is the first time an outsider has ever been chosen. Really? Allow me to explain. Our tribe has an old tradition of recording history in the form of woven scrolls. And not just our own history. We record the legends and heroic feats of all other tribes as well. It is a tradition we have observed for many centuries. We treat it as a solemn duty. However, when a major event occurs that affects all of Natlan, we record it on a different kind of scroll, used for this exact purpose. And these scrolls can only be woven by someone of the Ictomisaur Elder's choosing. When the Ictomisaur Elder senses a major change in the ley lines, it will issue a formal declaration to appoint a creator for this scroll. Whoa, so you mean... Elder Telepo sensed a ley line change quite some time ago. Bud had not yet designated the scroll weavers until you arrived. Okay, but just so you're aware, we don't know the first thing about weaving scrolls. As a matter of fact, that does not surprise me at all. How come? In the 200 years that Elder Talapo has held this position, none of the appointed ones have ever been experienced scroll weavers. Does that mean 200 years of major historical events have gone unrecorded? No. They all submitted scrolls in time. Yet each of them claimed it was not their own work, but a gift from the spirits. Man, this tribe gets more mysterious by the second. Yes, well, that is the part that troubles me. The notion that we have to rely on esoteric things like gifts from the spirits to record historical events of such great importance. Hmm, it is unsettling. Huh, that's pretty surprising to hear coming from the chief of this tribe. <laughs> I can imagine. Ah, you probably see the Masters of the Night Wind as a people shrouded in mystery who pride ourselves on our arcane practices. But I am something of an exception. I may be the chief, but when it comes to our traditions, I am in fact a proponent of change and reform. I have dedicated my energies to deciphering the many mysteries of our tribe. In doing so, I hope to establish clearer rules that will help sustain our traditions in the future. Wow, that sounds great! So if 
Have you figured out the mystery of the gift from the spirits? Hmm, sadly not. It is something I have been investigating for a long time. But I have yet to uncover what this gift truly refers to. Only a small handful of events over the years have been recorded on these special scrolls. With decades between each one, and by the time the next scroll weaver is appointed, my time as chief will be long gone. I will not be in a position to investigate as thoroughly. So... While I haven't gotten to the bottom of the matter, I have made some progress. But the only way I can develop my theories further is with the cooperation of the appointed ones. And that's why you want to put us through the test. Precisely. Ah, uh, it's nothing to be worried about. Simply a means of validating my current hypothesis. That eh, shouldn't take you long, nor will it put you in any danger. Alright, so what do you does it involve exactly? Uh, I can explain everything in detail when we get to the site of the test. But first, please wait a moment while I change out of the soul shielding cloak. This garb is one of our important cultural relics, handed down by generations of chiefs. It is only to be worn when conducting certain ceremonies. Oh! But Bomberman will lose his cloak and carry hands at Pice. Please, follow me. Alright, Tribal Chief. Do you see this scroll? If you touch it, you will enter a hidden space. Today's test Jesus is Christ! That was that one! To find a way to escape that space. He is fucking huge, computers! What? Maybe it's only Ito, but who knows? That's it? <laughs> I assure you, it's not as easy as it sounds. If you cannot find your own way out, I will of course intervene to bring you back here. But then, we will be no closer to solving this mystery. We'll give it a try. Good. Simply touch the scroll to begin the test. Oh, I like. Actually, hold on a sec. Am I doing the right one? Because I want to make sure I am, first of all. Okay, it turns out I was not doing the. What? Huh? What's that sound? Seems like it's coming from that bridge. I meant to go here. F all I was meant to go here, actually. <laughs> I went to the one, like, tribe quest. Okay, that one is not all, not all the questions unlocked yet. Until, like, Solari comes out. So, let's just deal with this instead. I'm just walking here because why not? But anyways, let's talk to this woman. Hey, what up? We even blowing whistles now? That is so cool. <laughs> and now she upset. Oh no! Why is she crying? Should we go check on her? You know, just in case she's thinking of doing something stupid. I'd leave her be. Hey, Jessica. Oh, you're just behind us. The warriors of the Flower Feather Clan are a proud bunch who never show their vulnerability in public, even if they've gone wingless. Oh, Chaska? Good to see you again, Traveler and Paimon. Before hey, pretty lady. Up, let's get a little further away before Koyer notices us. Yeah, thanks. So, that girl on the bridge, Koyer, you said? Should she really be on her own right now? With the mental state she's in, it just seems risky. Don't worry. That's exactly why I'm here. Elder Alpa sent me to keep an eye on her. If she does attempt the unthinkable, I'll swoop in and catch her. I doubt it'll come to that, though. She's a fighter. A warrior, in fact. One who aimed for the sky. However despondent she might feel now, I'm confident she'll get through it. What does you mean, aim for the sky? Well, in the Flower Feather Clan, there's an elite flying squad made up of Kukasaur Riders, but it's an extremely selective squad. To become a rider, you need to undergo a trial where you not only demonstrate mastery of the relevant skills, but also win the approval of the Kukasaurs. Very few candidates make it through the process. Koyer has spent years training for her most recent attempt, but unfortunately she didn't pass. So it's not hard to see why she's so upset. Hey, well, you mentioned going wingless. What does that mean? Sometimes, after multiple failed attempts to pass the flying tests and win the Kukasaur's approval, people get so disheartened that they give up on their dream to soar the skies. They resolve to quit trying for good. We call those people the wingless. <gasps> Do they 
get expelled from the tribe? What? No. No, of course not. They're still prized warriors. We have a saying. Just as the Kukasaur treasures every feather on its body, so the tribe treasures each one of its children. This hits even harder in the wake of the war. All of our young warriors carry the future of our tribe on their shoulders. Besides, every Kukasaur falls from its nest before it learns to fly. It's practically a rite of passage. Likewise for the wingless, we always hold out hope that one day, when they're ready, they'll rekindle their dreams and keep trying. Until then, all we can do is quietly watch over them from a distance. Just like I'm doing now. Ah, uh, okay. I would hope she'll get back on her feet soon. Well, from the sound of her whistling, her confidence has been seriously shaken. No Kukasaur is going to respond to a call that sounds like that. Whistling? Yeah. People from my tribe call to their Saurian companions by whistling or blowing the horn. So it sounds like Koyer was trying to summon a Kukasaur to practice her flying. But the Kukasauras are an even prouder bunch than our warriors. They would never respond to a lackluster whistle like that. First she failed the trial, and now she's struggling to even summon a Kukasaur. That's only going to hurt her confidence further. And getting trapped in that vicious circle is the kind of thing that'll make people go wingless. Surely there must be something we can do to help. That's very kind of you. Koyer's flying skills are up to par, but mentally she's stuck in a rut. If she wants to return to the sky, she has to overcome that for herself. I'm going to lay low nearby, just in case she takes a turn for the worse. Let me give you a tour around the tribe once this is all over. Thank you! Why is this thing flying around us? I can hear it! I know what it is too. Koyer still isn't giving up. Even though Chaska said that she has to do this by herself, Paimon can't help feeling like maybe we can nudge her in the right direction. Hmm. What if we could get a cuckoo sword to fly up to her? That might give her the confidence boost she needs. Are you saying I should turn to one? Actually, that sounds like a plan. There you go. I meant to go here first. Am I being that one that's flying up there? I think I'm going to turn into a bird. Okay, so... Oh, oh, there you go. So now, I'm going to become... Ooh, beautiful. Just gonna look, I'm a bird! Are you sure this is going to work? Yes, I'm very confident for being coming a Pokemon. Illegally. Illegal? Wait, don't you mean... Okay, is this gonna work though, Ashley? I'm actually wondering. Hey, I'm a buddy. Kaka! Kaka! Totally a bird! It's a, a Kukasaur! <laughs> oh my gosh! Is this really happening? I, I did it! I summoned one! And Chaka says, that's actually Ether? Like what? I was beginning to think you'd me? all given up on me completely. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Looks like Tabu lifted now. Let's wait till she starts looking and fly out of here. Excuse me? Would you mind if we did some flying practice together? Right now? Oh, oh shit. I think I know where I went wrong in the test now. I need to maintain a higher speed on my turns. So, I just gotta practice my bell tail slides and split S maneuvers. Fuck! Those sound complicated. I'm out of my dips. This is too dangerous. Also, I really want to try some stall turns and cobra maneuvers. Fuck! I don't even care if passenger let alone while doing that. I need to get out of here. Huh? That sounded like a whistle. Is someone else trying to summon a Kukasaur? Please be Chaska. Now's my chance. He's like, ah, fly away. What's the worst part of the puff cover? You make your escape. Please be Chaska. Do you think feeling better now? Let's go back to that bridge and check. Oh, oh, oh God, my leg. I could ask uh, Chaska, what? Let's fly. Okay, no one does better than nothing. Whee! Oh, look, Chaska. Well, I'm feeling with a gun. Whee! I love this, though. All right, go down. I said go down. Swiftly and attractively. Unless she whistles with a gun, that's pretty amazing. I like this talk. Chaska! I summoned a Kukasaur! They do still respond to me after all! Although, unfortunately, someone else summoned it away again before I had a chance to go for a flight. Oh, really? That is unfortunate. But if you can do it once, you can do it again. She knows things Keep up. Keep at it, and you'll pass the trial eventually. You're right. 
You know, I almost thought about giving up, but I'm glad I didn't. Hey, Chowska, how's Koya doing? Huh? Who are you? And how do you know my name? Um, Axa. <clears throat> These are my, uh, friends. Yeah! The Traveler and Paimon. Ethan! You came up in conversation the other day because I was telling them about up-and-coming warriors in our tribe. Oh, the Traveler, huh? So that's you. Uh, what do you mean, up-and-coming? <sighs> I'm closer to being wingless than I am to passing the trial. Anyway, we haven't met before, have we? You look so familiar somehow. Are you telling me that Lil Mean has been here for us? Hmm. Maybe you saw him in the stadium? Oh, that... Or anywhere, I think really. it was something else. He's been all over Natland lately, so it's not surprising that you've seen him around. <laughs> if you say so. Yeah, that must be it. Goyer! Chaska! Who's that? Here you are. I've been looking everywhere for you two. Oh! Elder Alpa! What's the matter? I thought I should tell you myself. We're going to redo the flying trials. Redo them? How come? This is so unexpected. And I can't believe you came out here just to tell us that in person. It's embarrassing to admit, but due to time constraints, we didn't do a proper inspection of the arena before the last round of trials began. Then we started to notice many candidates performing worse than expected. So we read it the inspection afterwards and found a number of issues which likely impacted candidate performance. This was entirely our mistake. And I apologize unreservedly. Hold up. I know it doesn't make up for it, but I thought bringing you this message in person was the least I could do. She has a vision too for an NPC? Why not make them playable? That seems very interesting. Oh, okay. Jaska, these people you're with, are they the Traveler and Paimon? Ether! And yes. Huh? You've heard of us? I have indeed. Gathering intel is an essential part of being a warrior. Plus, you've already made quite a name for yourself in that land. Actually, I've been meaning to invite you to enjoy our tribe's hospitality for some time. Hospitality? Oh, that includes food, right? Oh, God! If you let us host you, you'll be treated quite lavishly. Mighty warriors are highly revered in our tribe. Besides, we still owe you for your help during the war. Without you, we would have suffered far worse at the hands of the Abyss. So I like the chance to show you our gratitude on behalf of the whole tribe. Mighty warriors, plural? So Paimon gets too? <laughs> Paimon's starting to like you a lot. That should go without saying. Your flying skills are the envy of our tribe. That's a good point. The Flower Feather Clan seems like a really nice bunch of people. We definitely need to take her up on this offer. We're never gonna check this place out properly. Well... I'd love to stay, but I'm afraid I still have to inform the other candidates about the retrials. <sighs> With our younger generation's future on the line, there's no time to lose. Wait, Elder Alpa! Let me help! The sooner everyone gets the news, the better! Very well. In that case, Chaska, could I leave you to entertain our guests? Sure thing. Okay. Let's meet by the Obsidian Totem Pole later. Koyer, let's get going. Okay. Okay, that was good. Alpha and Chloe flew fly away with this. All right, so, yeah. they're out of earshot. I'm just gonna come out and ask that Kukasaur who responded to Koyer's call. That was your doing, wasn't it? Oh shit! I mean, yeah, it was. I grew up with these creatures. I could tell something was off the second I saw it. His whole demeanor seemed less like a Kukasaur and more like, well, you. So I figure you must have been pulling the strings somehow. I can't believe you saw do it. He looked very flustered when Koyer asked for a ride. So I whistled to give him a chance to escape. And judging by the look on your face, that was a welcome intervention, huh? It's all right. If you'd rather your hidden talents remain hidden, I respect that. I won't press you for answers, and I'll keep my speculations to myself. You're the oh, kind of person I'd still trust, even if you had superpowers. I know you'd use them for good. Technically, I deserve... I deserve Koli, uh, does it count as for good? I think the ends justify the means in this case. She just lacked confidence, and... You helped her resolve her internal conflict. If you hadn't intervened, I likely would have gotten my mom to help out instead. Although, having said that, there's a small chance she might have recognized her and seen through the whole thing. That would have done more harm than good. But looking no harm was done in the end. Yeah. Anyway, 
If you're free now, how about I give you that tour I promised? Yay! The tour you say, huh? And we have to go all the way up there. Oh, God. Oh, we just teleport around this place. Why not? What's going on? What the? What the fighting? Ready? I'm gonna get you! Uh-oh. Are they fighting? Should we try and break them up? Are they wrestling each other like the WWE? They're fine. Just doing their daily combat training. Combat training? They're a little young for that, aren't they? Not to us. We're a tribe of warriors. In ancient times, we were the most elite troops in the nation. Responsible for patrolling and defending all of Natman. And even though times have changed, we've kept our martial spirit alive. Hey, is that Chaska? Yes. Chaska, you're back! Oh, can you come train with us? Now's not a good time, I'm afraid. I'm showing the Traveler and Paimon around. Maybe next time. The Traveler and Paimon? Wait, you mean that legendary warrior and legendary flying expert? Legendary? Uh, yep, that's us, alright! Wow, Paimon got called legendary? Awesome! It's so cool that you can fly without having to ride a cuckoo soar. Even Chaska could only do that for short distances. Um, Mr. Traveler, can you teach me some cool sword tricks? Oh, Mr. Traveler, my family shop makes the best volcano cake. You gotta try it! Is that safe? <clears throat> Let's behave ourselves, everyone. These people are here as our guests. They're going to meet Elder Alpa in a few minutes anyway. Katina, instead of being jealous of other people's talents, why not work on developing your own? Cuphack, there's no point in trying any cool sword tricks until you've mastered the basics. Have you done all your sword drills today? And Yatlan, easy does it, okay? Not every conversation has to turn into you plugging the family business. Okay. Chaska and me let your cops to chill and die and stop Sorry about those down. kids. They just got overexcited when they heard your name. I hope it didn't bother you too much. This is a volcano cake that Yatlan forced into my hands. She said to think of it as an apology gift. Yeah! Tastes nice too. That's good. Yeah, man. Bum pudding! Ah! By the way, Chaska, those kids really adore you. You're way better with them than Paimon expected. Paimon figured you'd be more. um. aloof, maybe? Aloof, huh? Well, to be fair, there was a period when I was like that. Around the time when I first joined the tribe. But it's a terrible attitude to have as a peacemaker. It tends to turn situations that could have had a peaceful resolution into a stalemate that can only be resolved by force. Resolved by force meaning beating both parties into submission? Yep, exactly. As long as other options are available, I try to avoid that at all costs. Someone once told me that peace imposed by force will crumble in a matter of days. But peace achieved through genuine dialogue actually benefits both sides, even if sometimes the parties are only willing to negotiate because they're both armed to the teeth. That's true! Hey, Chaska! Uncle Cusco knows you're back, and he's coming to get you! Hmm? Oh, thanks, Traveler, Paimon. Got a dash. I'll meet you at the totem pole up ahead. You can't miss it. It sticks out like a sore thumb. Wait, are you running away? First rule of conflict resolution? Grab the fan and run before the you-know-what hits. <laughs> Trust Chaska to make even running away sound cool. Sorry about this. Just stall him for me, okay? I'll explain everything later. Huh? Stall? What do you mean by stall? Is he like up there? I'm just gonna fly around this trap place. Woohoo! What the god? Oh, Chaska, don't fall down, please, when I'm done talking. Hmm. A golden-haired outlander and a white flying object. You must be the Traveler and Paimon. What fly object the fuck you mean by that? I heard Chaska was with you, but I suppose she's run away again, has she? Uh, sorry, who are you? Who am I? Gah, only her father. She's supposed to go for a checkup every three months to see how her abyss condition is doing. We both agreed on it, but she's already missed three checkups this year. That's three out of four. Abyss condition? <sighs> yes. She got exposed to abyssal energy as a young child. But then her birth parents abandoned her. It's lucky those wild cuckoosaurs found her when they did, or she wouldn't have made it. They took her under their wing and raised her as one of their own. Eventually, some riders out on patrol spotted her and brought her back to the tribe. But she was practically feral at that point. The moment you took your eyes off her, she'd be getting herself into a fight. 
or she had run away to be with the Saurians. She seemed to prefer them to her own kind. She might as well have been a Saurian in human form. That must be the aloof period she mentioned, right? Sounds like there was more going on than just being aloof. We later discovered that her exposure to the Abyss had planted seeds of conflict in her heart. So, we started trying to bring it under control. But ultimately, she's the only one who could control it. Anyway, she's much more human these days. Yeah, uh, don't worry about her. She seems pretty stable to Paimon. But uh, she's probably only avoiding the checkups because she thinks it'll stop you guys from worrying about her. Yes, I'm well aware of that. She knows she needs to be careful. If her condition ever took a turn for the worse, she wouldn't be brushing it aside like this. Hmm, then what's there to worry about? It's just... Every checkup she's been to, they find new cuts and bruises. Nothing to do with the Abyss, of course. Oh no, that's all fine. The problem with her is, she's her own worst enemy. She's been living dangerously again. I'm sure of it. That's why she's avoiding the checkups. She wants to hide it from us. Uh, yeah, Paimon can see her doing that. Oh. In the past, she always had Koichi to keep an eye on her. Now Koichi's gone. Oh, and please don't mention it. I don't want to lose another daughter. Don't bring those memories, please, she don't. She's been increasingly reckless since Koichi passed. It's like she's trying to make up for it somehow. Next time say you that. see her, please tell her to be careful for me. Even if she doesn't want to hear it. If she doesn't want to do these checkups anymore, that's fine. I just want her to stop putting herself in harm's way. She's about watching. Say, I don't give a shit, Daddy! <laughs> Tell us all about Chasa and Gucci. You'll patiently listen until the bitter ends. Oh, where did the time go? We should be back up with Chaska before it gets any later. Uh, <laughs> oh, God, yeah. I forgot the bench for that. I chose Dan instead. I forgot she's a Claymore a file user. As in a pile user. So, now, get down. Get down! No, don't shoot! I'm trying to get down! I gotta hold E. Oh, wait, hold up, do that. Oh, that's not- wait. Doesn't it feel getting chest? That would be cool if it did. Anyways, I did- I chose there over Dilly because she's a Claymore fire user. Now, let's talk to Alpha. Let's go. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's alright. I bet my dad talked your heads off, huh? What did he say? And the knee half your peers got beaten up by you as, a, as you were a kid. <laughs> I was sometimes a little impulsive back then. <laughs> That's putting it mildly. <laughs> the memories. It feels like it was only yesterday when we brought you back and had Cusco and his family take you in. Back then, no one imagined this feral child would grow up to be the strongest warrior of the Flower Feather Clan. That's right. Elder Alpa was already a veteran rider by then. She spotted me while patrolling from the skies and this tracked down my Kukasaur mom. Boy, mom agreed it was time I tried to re-enter human boy, society. But I didn't know the first thing about being civilized. I clashed with everyone who had to deal with me. And look at you now. Renowned throughout the land as a peacemaker. How time flies. When the day comes that I can't fly anymore, it will be up to you to look after our tribe and our flying squad. <laughs> you know me, though. I'm not a natural commander. I'm better off as a lone wolf on the front line. So stick it out at least a few more years, okay? Give Koyer and the others time to come into their own. <laughs> oh, stop. Wait, so isn't the leader just the strongest warrior in the tribe? At least Byron figured that's how your tribe would work. Strength is certainly a core tenet in the Flower Feather Clan. But strength means far more than martial prowess alone. <laughs> if it all came down to individual strength, I'd struggle to call myself a warrior, let alone a member of the Flying Squad. Any fighter in the tribe could take me down. Willy, I had you down as a Lee Royal Lake, Jessica. Well, sorry to disappoint you. It was something I aspired to at one point. So much so that I went adventuring in the Cinder City, Oshkanatlan, to try and prove myself. But it was foolish of me. I wasn't ready. I came back empty-handed and seriously injured. The fact that I survived was something, I suppose. 
But after that, I never seriously considered myself a strong fighter. And yet, you still managed to become the leader of the Flying Squad, thanks to your experience and determination, all while battling those old injuries. Don't you think that's a display of strength in its own right? <laughs> Let's shelve this discussion for now. Traveler, Paimon, there are some simple refreshments on the table. Please help yourselves. Yes! Paimon was waiting for that part! Didn't you just go yourself on the whole bunch of vala volcano cake? Um, they were for the snack stomach. The refreshment stomach still has plenty of space. You see? How big your stomach for that little small body? And what were we eating? <sighs> Paimon is so full. Well, what are we eating? I can't even if see if you're for, enjoying for the angle. We'll be three cakes. Feel free to stay with us as long as you like. Um, Elder Alba? Uh, there's. Okay, um, it does the uh, cakes. Something's come up. Whispering? Hmm? What happened? Is it serious? Shall I deal with it? Um, it's. Some merchants showed up. Not from our tribe. They said they're here to discuss some potential collaboration with us. <sighs> Why now? This is terrible timing. There are a few wingless that we haven't managed to reach yet. Is this cake? And we still haven't inspected the retrial arena. Hmm. Uh, was it sweets? I mean, I would too. Oh. Hmm. Well, wow, that's a pretty ass schedule. Let me handle the other errands while you meet with the merchants. You shouldn't be trying to do everything at your age. You should help too. Seems only fair after all that food we ate. We're here for a free goddamn lunch, fat ass. Huh. Well, much obliged. Cheska, the remaining wingless are all people you know. Let's see. Pishika now manages the floating target balloons. Waska's probably still addicted to eyes on the feathered prize. And Junam spends her days up on the flying platform, staring at the Cinder City. I'll leave you to tell them the news. Yep. Damn, are we still doing this? Oh my goodness, there's like three different areas to go to. Okay, let's start with... Oh, they're both close by. Let's start with that. Okay, I'm gonna go to this one. Hell right, wingless? You call them wingless? Why are they... Never <sighs> mind that, it's up to you. Are you sure you don't want to reconsider, Pashika? I appreciate it, boss. But honestly... I'm pretty happy with my life nowadays. Pashika, they're redoing the flying trials. Huh? Mutoda? Ah, did Alpa send you? I was just telling Pashika the news, actually. The way things are with the tribe these days. <laughs> I mean, you don't need me to tell you. This here is no future for a seasoned warrior like you. Ah, oh, come on, boss. Do you have any idea how long it's been? I've been wingless for years now. I'm not cut out for that anymore. Of course, I'll do my part if we ever need to defend the tribe. But there's really no point in me trying out for the flying squad now. I've already made my peace with it. Not everyone has what it takes to return to the sky after going wingless. Ah, <sighs> Elda Alpa's perseverance is something else. And like, it's okay if I'm not destined for greatness. I might not have the Kukasaurus approval. But with my hot air balloons, I can still reach the skies. Handling these balloons every day, seeing how the customers react, the looks on their faces, that's enough for me. Finding something you love doing can be just as hard as passing the flying trial. It's worth holding on to. Fair enough. It's your choice. I won't force you. Oh, by the way, you should try taking a balloon ride if you've got the time. Once you've been up there for yourself, You'll see why I love it so much. <laughs> but next time for sure. No problem. If you ever want to give it a try, you know where to find me. It was funny. I already rolled one from riding from uh, Marika's thing. Oh, you're just chilling. They go down. Yeah. Oh, E. And she does that, she spreads her ass cheeks like that. Look carefully, people. Yeah. Anyway, let's um, talk to this guy next. A retrial? What's the point? I pretty much treat life like it's a game. <laughs> no Kukasaur is ever going to approve of that, no matter how many times I try. Mwaskar, I can assure you, Kukasaurs wouldn't judge you for something like that. Well, they must be judging me for something. Maybe I lack fighting spirit, or just don't have the talent. Not everyone's a natural like you. Don't waste your time on me. You'll have better luck with the ones who still have their heads in the clouds. In the meantime... <laughs> 
I think I'm gonna treat myself to a few more games of Eyes on the Feathered Prize. Yeesh, there's wingless, then there's being a total lost cause. You used to be a fierce warrior, actually. But fighting spirit alone won't win you the Kukasaurus approval. Are mm -hmm. all Kukasaurus so strict? The ones in floating target balloons and Eyes on the Feathered Prize seem pretty chilled out. It's one thing to hang out and have fun, but... Quite another to take to the skies with a human life on your back. Giving a ride to someone who's unqualified endangers not only the rider, but also the Kukasaur themselves. If the rider makes a mistake, they both suffer the consequences, so we have a mutual understanding with the Kukasaurs. If someone isn't up to standard, we have to reject them. Even if it means breaking their hearts. Okay. You know, but okay, I'm gonna fly to the next person who shouldn't be too far away. Let's boost up. I don't need to run over there. I'm lazy. I get my gun to fly around. It's gonna boost you too, buddy. That's no gun, so well. You're staying there. Hello, ma'am. <laughs> you look so tired. That one was amazing. Oh, fuck. <sighs> hey, Juno. Gazing out at Boat Cannot Land again. Chaska? What are you doing here? Is something up? The Flying Squad is hosting retrials again soon. Want to give it another try? <laughs> Maybe you're forgetting the definition of wingless. I've failed so many times already that I've decided to call it quits for good. I'm done. Elder Alpa always goes out of her way to come and tell me when a new trial is coming up. And it's nice of her to think of me. But nothing's gonna change. I'm not going to suddenly pass just because they're holding another trial. They're making some big changes to the arena this time. So the flying experience should be smoother than before. Coyer's gonna try again. Uh, Is it- oh! uh, No, forget it. If I was genuinely good enough to make the squad, the location shouldn't affect my chance it. A true rider can fly confidently whatever the conditions. Like you and Elder Alpa. Shunan! They're redoing the- Huh? Chaska and the Traveler. You're already here. I guess they told you already then. Come on, let's go train together. Uh, should I reject this time? Um, I'm gonna sit this one out. What? Why? But you've always looked up to Elder Alpa. She went wingless after her injury and spent years drifting. But even she came back and made it in the end. If she can do it, why can't you? I mean... I don't have that kind of perseverance. And besides, the last thing I want to do is fail in front of her yet again. Oh, come on. You know you don't need to worry about that. All right, well, how about we just treat this as you being my mentor? Then will you train with me? Um, I mean... Enough umming and aahing. Let's just get up in the air and figure it out as we go. Okay, I guess oh, she wait. managed to go. Oh, hold on, slow down. I can't keep up. Well, that's one way to do it. Yeah, Zia really chose the hard wheel. <laughs> They've been best friends since they were kids. I figured they're best friends. If anyone knows how to get Junan out of a rut, it's Koyer. You helped Koyer deal with her internal conflict, and now she's done the same for someone else. You know, people often talk about how one conflict leads to another and so on. But sometimes in life, things spiral in a good direction. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Is this like the end of the first part of the quest? Oh, yes it is. You think I'm done with this? Nope. We've notified all the wingless on the list now, right? Which is next? Uh, the trial arena. It's not far from the tribe. Nope. Is just oh, it's just this thing glowing distance. Let me. Hey, can I not touch this? Just oh, your ass is not. I mean, your ass is probably not allowing it. If I can't fly, how does use my gun to fly? Woohoo! All right, we're here. Oh my gosh, she fell down like and rolled. She rolled down so driftily. Oh, hey there, Chaska. Did Elder Alpa send you? Yeah, she's got other things on her plate right now. How are things looking here? Hmm. Well, the inspection revealed numerous blockages all over the trial arena. It looks like they're the result of ley line disorders caused by repeat abyss invasions. Theoretically, we just need to clear those obstacles, and the arena will fill up with gaseous phlogiston again. But that's proving difficult to achieve in practice, for all sorts of reasons. Why don't you head on down and check things out for yourself? Feel free to ask the staff for more details. Alright, Act 2! Now the trial begins. 
Okay, so we just have to. Oh my goodness, around this area? Really? Am I gonna fly around this place? Of course I am. Like this way. Oh, let's start with this one. We're going so fast. Very clearly. Go up with the elegant pose that people sips for. Now you go down. With your ass cheeks spread wide. Oh, are you here to help? Thank goodness. There's no way I could do all this by myself. So the blockage here has to be cleared using a special bomb. But carrying explosives up that steep slope would be a recipe for disaster. If I dropped it or slipped and fell, I'd be blown to bits in an instant. So, my plan was to transport the bomb to the other side, then send it over in a hot air balloon. All I need now is for someone else to strike the balloon at the right moment, dropping the payload right on top of the spout, and problem solved. What do you think? Simple enough, right? I think I can handle that. Is the hot air balloon up there yours too? Huh? Oh, that one. No, I've got no idea who that belongs to. Or how they got it up so high. I just wish that I seems could so fly there and check what out the what fuck? kind of tech they're using. Ah, well. Getting the trial arena back in order is more important. I'll head over and set up now. Let me know when you're ready. Mm -hmm. I want to do a joke, but looks like I can't change my party member, so... Call. All right. Get ready! Uh... Okay, it's coming down this way. I'm going to do a joke later on. Maybe... Um... Can this hurry up? Okay, I... Wasn't meant to do that. I All let's right. just wait. Get ready. Sorry, I'm just going to come to you. Wow, that's still. Let's actually attempt to try. Let's try. Oh my God, let's give it a try. Wait, how up is that actually? Oh my goodness. I don't think we could. Don't trust off. Don't break your ankles even when you high heels like that. Also, was it a bomb go? Oh, I missed it. Fuck! Are you ready? And drop. Okay, I just realized this is. Oh, we got it. Hey, nice. This is a trial kill, not my actual Chaska. Alright, uh. Which one is the farthest? Or you can say the closest, I'll say. Looks like this one. Whee hoo! Going down. Watch your legs, girl. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Confused investigator. What's going How on? Strange. Why is there so much solid flow just in here? Oh, it could be from the children of Echoes. Maybe it got swept up here due to the ley line disturbances? And I did see those strange markings on the cliff. Ah, I can't think of a way to resolve this. <sighs> Short of going all the way to the children of Echoes to borrow it to Petlisaur. Oh, you see a dinosaur, you say? <laughs> I'm a dinosaur! What up, motherfuckers? Ah! Let me, let me get in the walls. Okay, thank you! Let me... It's not breaking, what the hell? Okay, I guess you're supposed to go up here. There we go. Okay, is that good? Hold on. Let's go talk. Hey, what up? I'm a dinosaur. How strange. Why is there so much solid flow just in here? Well, it could be from the... Ch nah, okay, sure, the way you said this earlier. Okay, hold up a second. Are you telling me I gotta... Okay, so are they around this area? Is that it? Is this, is this confusing for XP? Just go on the ground, okay? You'll be good. So, they're saying around this area? What? Oh, it means doing that. Okay, get out of there. Get out of there. Can I touch this? Oh, ho -ho, I can fly around this. Okay, that could be last time down there. I'm gonna go down here next. Okay, so go down and look at the people cause they Oh, look how she glows too! Damn, okay. Now, Q's investigator. Now you this speak. This is crazy. I put all of my strength into it, but it just won't break. <sighs> Maybe By just kicking? Just after all. If a stable structure is formed inside the solid phlogiston, I'll need to hit all the weak spots at the same time to break it. But how am I supposed to do that? Oh, I got the answer. So we got Chaska here, right? <laughs> Yeah, wait for the thing to activate so I can hold E and do this. Yeah, shock on the hell out of that. All right, now where do we go? Just need to ride this and then just stand. That's big. Okay, let me just actually go down. I like just 
Okay, I'm suspecting. That's a bomb? Hold up a sec. I meant to actually. I had my sock turn first! Oh god, I'm so sorry! Okay, how about you. Let's get it on! Okay. Katrina! Let's Make this one wet! One more time, come on, come on! Alright. Go on, time! Alright, let's do this! The gashes flow just in awesome. being replenished. Looks like all the spouts have been unlocked. Let's head back up. Yeah, that's right. Go back to my Chaska. Fly with your gun. Go up there. All right, ma'am. It is up to clear. We are wow. good to go. You took care of everything in no time at all. Incredible work. Now uh -huh. we just have to wait until the gaseous phlogiston is fully replenished. Then we can kick off the retrials. Hmm. Actually, Inkanak, I'd like to do a test flight first, just to make sure we're not missing anything. Could you arrange that for me? Huh? But you only just finished getting the arena ready. There could still be other hazards we're unaware of. All the more reason to have me test it out. Think of it as another inspection. Uh, I guess you're right. With your flying skills, you won't be in any serious danger. Even if there are hazards we overlooked. The conditions in this area seem a little unstable. But a test flight is the only way to catch any lingering issues. Alright, I'll get things set up for you. Just let me know when you're ready. Hmm. So, we're all ready? I mean, let's, let's do so. Let's just talk to you now. Are you ready? This should be a piece of cake for Chaska. But still, try to be careful. I'm sure she'll be fine. Alright, then spread your wings and fly. Okay, Chaska, time to fly. Woohoo! Look at this! So I supposed to charge at least 20 in total. Is this what feels back up, by the way? No, it doesn't. Oh, it makes me a little worried. Is this good? Oh, it's bad. Do I charge this? No, I do not. I am going. Oh my god, is she gonna be okay now? I hope so, because we're gonna charge the 20 in total. We're just gonna keep flying until we're okay. I'm flying with a gun! It's illegal, right? America, right? Okay, that does feel bad, but not my thing. This boost will go faster. Weehoo! Okay, now we go up. Aha! Let's go fast this time. We got all day to do this. We're going faster. Damn, the way she stands when she rides. Damn, I like how she poses though. It's like a, submiss a submissive position. If someone to fuck her. Oh, right, let's keep flying. Okay, that's 17. He's above, I'm guessing. That's what it looks like! What's the last one? There he is. Whee hoo! There you go. Ah! Manali! That was a oh no! Couldn't take her eyes off you. She's about to die off. Probably not. So, any photo issues with the venue? Mm -hmm. No. Nothing major. Give it a few days, and we should be able to conduct the trials. Help! Help me! That's like You're from the Flower Feather Clan, right? Please, come quick, you've got to help us! Catch your breath first. What's the situation? We were... we got attacked by a Kukasaur. My friends are still stranded in the middle of the road with the goods we were transporting. Please, I'm begging you, save them! Huh? Are Kukasaurs really that aggressive? Do they usually attack groups of people and provoke? Not in my experience, but there are exceptions to every rule. Let's go check it out. Hmm, a fountain guy who happens to be- Oh, she's alive! Good, good, good. If she was gonna die from the be hilarious. I'm gonna fly and see what's going on. Ouch! I've never seen such an aggressive cuckoo sore. Like that? Aggressive cuckoo sore, you say? Hmm, you mean by like- Oh, Alpha, what you doing here? Tasca? Traveler? This is a surprise. Elder Alba? Huh. So, where is this aggressive Kukusaur we've heard about? Already flew away. Looks like it backed off once it realized that reinforcements were coming. So why do you think it attacked these people in the first place? Was it after the food? No. These merchants are even transporting food. Oh, 
thank goodness. The phlogiston wings are intact. Is that a good sign then? Phlogiston wings. <sighs> thank you so much for coming to our rescue. Those things? These phlogiston wings are our most prized goods. If anything happened to them, it would ruin us. Wait a minute. Are you the merchants that were looking to collaborate with us? Wormy told me about you. Yeah, that's us. So I take it you're Elder Ulpa? I am. You must be exhausted from your journey. Not to mention shaking up from the attack. Let me bring you back to our tribe to rest. We can talk business after you've recovered. But Elder Ulpa, what about the Kukasor attack? Well, our guests here weren't seriously injured, and their goods are intact. Perhaps that Kukasor was just having a bad day. There are so many of them around here. You'd expect something like this every once in a while. I don't think we need to pursue it any further. More importantly, how are the preparations for the flying trials going? Is everything in order over at the arena? The trial will be able to start very soon. Huh? Did you say flying trials? <laughs> what a coincidence! Sounds like a perfect use case for our phlogiston wings. You'll be pleasantly surprised by what they can do. Oh, really? Now I'm intrigued. <laughs> well then, let's forget all about this Kukasaur attack for now. We have some serious business to discuss. You two go on. Huh? Where's Jessica? So that's it? That all went smoother than expected. Well, guess we'd better get going. Uh, huh? Chaska? What are you looking at? Hmm. Something suspect. Is that a blood stain? A blood stained feather. Oh! Getting at blood. It's like that, people. Let's be a little bit. There isn't the fun about the person trying to flower for the clan. The next. What? I didn't read the whole thing. It's like, seriously? Alright, since that's done, I'm actually gonna stop it there to finish the last part next episode. Alright, I'm gonna there. My subscribe, I'll see you later. Sayonara. Mm -hmm.